Well, more than a week after Election Day, at least three metro Atlanta counties are still certifying votes cast. And in the meantime, the audit and the hand by hand retally of the votes cast in the entire state begins tomorrow. CBS 46's Adam Murphy begins our live team coverage. Adam. Hey, good evening, Rick. I can tell you I've learned this evening there are still 51 out of 159 counties that must certify election results by tomorrow's deadline. So there are still some that are counting and need to get this done. Once that occurs, then we can transition into the audit phase. Every county can begin that, of course, tomorrow. It will be a tedious retally of every single legal vote cast in the election for president. Now, the audit requires that all of the votes be counted by hand. This must be complete by next Friday when the state will officially certify the election. It's important to point out that when the audit begins tomorrow, it will not weed out any possible irregularities. That will be a post-election issue. And the Secretary of State's office also expects there will be fatigue among those counting those votes. As I've said very plainly and very clearly, human beings are the most flawed part of this process. I guarantee you the numbers will be slightly different. Now, after the audit is complete, then there could be a recount. That would be done electronically, and that could take another week, too. But again, a week from this Friday, tomorrow, we should have official results, and that audit should be complete. I also want to point out, we did mention this moments ago, but it will be interesting. The Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, expected to actually oversee this process from home. As we are learning tonight, his wife has tested positive for COVID-19, and he is being tested and also in quarantine. We're live in downtown Atlanta tonight. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.